Hello, my name is Kevin Pierce with Expo. Today, we'll be going over MPO fiber inspection using the FIP 435B probe from Expo. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to my top down view here. So this is the FIP 435B. So this is our wireless inspection probe. It also does work in a wired environment if you wanna connect directly to USB uh, or if the power starts to run low on you. Uh, so just a quick uh, tour of the, uh, of the probe here. So this is the top of the probe. We have the power button. We have some LED indicators. Uh, the back two here are for uh, Wi-Fi and for uh, power status or battery status. Up here at the top, we have a field of view button. So to change the field of view, we have a capture button. We have a analysis uh, LED. So this will give you pass fail indicators. This will tell you when the probe's ready and the state of analysis for it. If I flip this over, we have a manual um, focus down here at the very bottom. This is a fully automated auto center, auto capture, auto analysis probe, uh, but you can manually focus as needed. And then up here in the front, we have the nozzle. It is important uh, to note that you need to have an MF ready fiber inspection probe. Uh, if you're gonna do multi-fiber inspection like MPO or OptiTip, multi, you know, multi-fiber hardened connectors. And this is the actual uh, tip nozzle itself. So right now I have a Sam Charlie bulkhead uh, UPC adapter on there. So there's a screw here. I can just unscrew it and take it off and I can change the tip types. So it is keyed. So there is a key on the actual uh, uh, nozzle itself. And so today we'll be doing MPO inspection. So I'm going to get out my MPO inspection probe tip. And so this is the MPO inspection probe tip or our multi our multi fiber inspection probe tip. So there is a, a, a screw on here for the nozzle. And so this is the MPO uh, nozzle itself. So this one happens to be APC. There's a key upside and a key down depending on your orientation. I also have in my particular kit, I have the OptiTip or multi-fiber hardened connector adapters as well. And then we also have a, a bulkhead for adapting the, uh, uh, the MPO to the fiber inspection probe tip. So we can go back and forth between bulkhead and the actual jumper interface itself. Um, and so we're going to go over how these work together. So I'm going to go ahead and connect my MPO tip to my probe tip. And these are keyed. And you can see there's a key here at the top. And there's a key here at the top of this one as well. So normally what I do is I start turning it. And then I twist it a little bit. You know, as, as it starts to lock in, and then once it finds that key, it sets itself, and I tighten it down until all the screws are gone. And so all the threads are gone, rather. And so now I'm connected to that. So the actual uh, multi-fiber uh, handle itself, so you can notice it's kind of got this bronze or brass look to it. And here we have three indicators of the position of your analysis. So so you pull this trigger and there'll be three positions to analyze. So it'll capture three different images and stitch them together. And so I'm going to go ahead and push this all the way up to expose the threaded screws here. And then there's also a key on the fiber inspection probe tip itself. So I go ahead and just screw that on until it's nice and secure to make sure the key is locked in there. And then there you go. So for Analysis of MPOs, we have two things you can do. You can either use your smart device, like say an iPhone or an Android phone, and use that device along with our Connector Max software to analyze the, uh, um, the fiber itself. Or in this case, I'm gonna use the platform uh, in this particular situation, the, the FTB1, but you can also use our Max platform. You can also use a PC, um, you know, so there are different options there for that. So what I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and switch over uh, to a um, to kind of a top down view here. So before you uh, set up any test here or, or actually perform any test, what I usually do is I go in here, set my identifiers like naming conventions. I want to identify the files when they save some standard user preferences. So I'll go over here to the right uh, under identification. I'll go ahead and select identification here. And then you can see, you know, just based on here that uh, just like our, our other test set, it kind of flows the same. This is where you can input your, your information, uh, cable ID, fiber ID, location, that type of stuff. So typically what I do is I'll put a location in here. 
In this example, I'll just put, you know, relay rack 202, uh, shelf four, panel five. You know, so whatever makes the most sense to you. And as far, you know, as far as fiber ID or connector ID, you know, whatever the identifying information is for that port, that, you know, I'll put that in there. Right now, the naming convention is not very exciting. It just says fiber one, that's CMAX. Um, if I'm just putting in bare minimum information, maybe all I want is the location A and then the connector ID. And so now we're starting to see more information in here. And so in this case here, I could just swap it around if I want to. And so now we see it look like this. And so if you have different information, like forward information, return information, um, you can put all that in here. So for location, I just happen to put relay rack in here, but you could put something else in there, right? Whatever makes the most sense for your organization. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to stick with this, and I'm pretty happy with this setting. So, of course, you have a lot of, you know, different options here that you can input. Um, so your mileage will vary depending on the level of, of uh, uh, information you want to put in the naming convention. So I'll stick with that. And then I'll go over here to the right where it says user preference. And then just some of your standard user preferences here. Um, you know, where you want the file to save, if you want it to auto save, uh, how you want the reports to look, you know, what information you want to include in the PDF those types of things under user preferences. And so those, those are the two things that I really, I get in first and kind of set up for the job. And then after that, I get into picking my configuration for the fire inspection. And so I'm gonna transition over. And so basically what I'm showing here is of course, I have my NPO here live in front of me and there's obviously me. And then over here uh, in this other direction is the, uh, the video capture, the streaming capture of my platform itself. So I am using an FTB one in this particular situation. And so essentially what I'll do is over here to the right, um, down here on the, uh, uh, on my platform, I have a CMAX two application. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch that application and it should fire up. And you notice I have a Wi-Fi option to connect to my probe tip or I can use the USB. So once it detects the USB, it goes ahead and connects to that. So with everything connected, I'm gonna go ahead and look at the different options here. And so I can kind of zoom in a little bit more to give us a better view of the actual uh, analysis software itself. So let me go ahead and switch to that. And so now we're looking at the analysis software. Uh, so this is the Connector Max 2 software on the platform. Uh, you'll see I have you know, some different options here. Uh, the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna you know, uh, make sure that I'm connected. And so if, the, if it's connected via Wi-Fi, if it's connected via the USB, it will populate the FIP controls here. And, uh, and so I can also verify here under connections that I indeed am connected. And this, this one's connected through USB. And so I'm going to go back to the FIP tab here. And the first thing I want to do is I want to select my fiber type that I'm testing. And so in this situation right now, it's select for single fiber. I'm going to go ahead and drop that down and select multi-fiber. And so with multi-fiber, you'll have some additional options here in front of you. So you'll have single mode APC, standard single mode, or multi-mode. In this situation, I'm gonna go ahead and select single mode APC, and then we have a subtype. So the type of multi-fiber. So MPO, MTP, which is what we're doing today, uh, opti tip or multi-fiber hardened connector, and then an ODC connector. So I'm gonna stick with the MPO. And then we have the orientation. We talked about that earlier with the probe tip, right? Where you have key up and key down. So mine is set for key up. So I wanna make sure and have key up selected here as well. And then lastly, fiber configuration. So fiber configuration is going to be, um, you know, essentially, um, you know, what you have set up on there, whether it's uh, one by 12, one by, you know, or two by 16, as you can see right there. Uh, so the different types of configurations that you have on there, right? Uh, and in this situation here, I gotta, I'm gonna go ahead and select it. And going through VNC, if I use my click, it, it, it doesn't work as well. So I'm actually leaning over manually on my touch screen, selecting what I have. And so here are the different options that we have. And so this one is a one by 12 um, <clears throat> that we see there, but you can see the different options there. So there's one by 12 and you can see the, where it has the, um, the 10 and the eight, you know, followed by the, the, the different indicators on the sides, right? And so you really need to know which configuration you're doing. So I'm doing a one by 12. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the one by 12 here. And then you see what we have. And so now that I've selected my fiber configuration and I have everything else selected, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I have, in this situation, auto focus and auto analysis selected. And then down here, you could see the, the, um, 
the IEC spec that's being used for analysis. And so, so this is what we have set up right now. So if you want to look at different FIP configurations, you can go over here to the right. And this allows you to change it as well. So I can go to the FIP here. And you can see I can change it back to single fiber. Uh, I can change it from single mode APC to just single mode. That way you see some of the different standards based around the different type of single mode options that there are. In this case here, I'm going to stick with single mode APC. And I'm going to stick with just this multi-fiber standard that's, that's here. I'm going to go ahead and hit close. Uh, and that's what we have here. And so you notice here that we have these capture steps. So these capture steps correspond to the different options that you have on the actual FIP itself, right? And so um, on the FIP, on the probe itself, you know, I talked about a lot of the different options that were on there. Um, and so this is, you know, essentially what we have, um, you know, with the different probes um, is, you know, you have the kind of the three-step orientation there to pull through and analyze the data. And in fact, I can zoom in a little bit more on that to let you see it. And so you see the, the kind of the three-step analysis and how it corresponds to what's on the actual um, application itself. And so with this in mind, I'm going to go ahead and set this down. And I just have this little, uh, this tiny little, it's kind of hard to see with the green screen stuff I do on there. But, but essentially what we have here is this uh, uh, MPO fiber jumper that, you know, I just cut off just so I can carry around for demos. Uh, and I also have here something that I acquired while I was doing some testing. This is a little kind of a breakout box. It goes MPO common to, uh, to uh, eight fiber breakout is what I have here. So this will give me an option to look at a bulkhead as well. And so with all these different devices here, we can start you know, analyzing our, our information. So basically what I have here is there is a little bulkhead adapter that comes with our fiber inspection probe for multi-fiber. Uh, we found that using a standard MPO bulkhead is a little bit, there's too much play in it, where it's a lot better using something like this. So there's two sides of this, and it's a little hard to read, but this side says fiber, and this side says FIP. And there's a little spring-loaded uh, device on either side of it to really secure that fiber and the probe tip, uh, you know, together. And so normally what I do is I'll take the fiber side, and you'll notice the fiber side here, and I'll usually pull back a little bit on the, uh, on the, uh, the boot here, and then I'll push down, and this allows us to insert the fiber, you know, the fiber into here, and then usually hear a little click, and then it's secure, right? So you hear a little bit of a click. Then the FIP side, I'll go ahead and plug that in here as well. So I'll plug the FIP in, and so you know the whole key orientation and whatnot is important. And you'll start to see some stuff happening to the right there. So right now it's doing the autofocus, auto zoom, you know, um, you know trying to center the image and, and whatnot. And so you can kind of see the little pin there on the right. This is the pin that's on the actual MPO itself. And then of course you can start seeing some of the fibers. And so usually what I'll do is I'll orient myself, hold the trigger here and I'll slightly pull down. And, and I like to reinforce it with my hands just because I have a strong pull. And so I'll hold it and you'll notice that we have the images or the fibers uh, kind of uh, uh, visible on the screen. I'll go ahead and hit the capture button here and this will capture the first step. And so if you see down there in the fiber inspection software there, you'll see this section here where it has the different steps. This tells you what step you're in. And right now it's in between analysis. So now it wants us to go to the second step. So I will gently pull on this to the second step. And you know, once you get the, you know, used to the, the strength and the pull of your device, then, uh, then you'll, it'll be kind of muscle memory from that point. So now I'm taking the second image and capturing that information as well. And then lastly, I'll pull one more time all the way to the end, to the third state. And so now we're here all the way to the end. And then I'm going to capture it a final time. And I'm in kind of a slightly awkward position while I'm doing this, so I apologize for that. And so once it's complete, it's going to start to analyze. And so you'll notice down here on the actual application itself, well, we'll get back over to the application, you'll see it's starting to analyze the data, right? And so you'll see the quick pass fails here on these fibers. So there's number one. If I click here, there's number two. And so you can click across to see what they look like and the pass fail indications. If you want to save it, you can save it now. And that'll save it as a CMAX file that we can use our reporting tool to analyze later. Or you can generate a PDF. So you can generate a PDF uh, that you can send to your engineers or to your customers uh, kind of showing 
you know, that particular fiber. Um, and, and from here, you're, you're basically just, in this case, I would clean it and retest um, because we did have some fails here. Uh, to show you what it looks like to uh, do analysis on a bulkhead. And so I'm going to do analysis on a bulkhead here. So we'll switch back uh, to this other view here. And I'm going to remove this bulkhead adapter here that we had. And then I'm just going to go straight from here. And so you'll notice, here's my MPO connector tip. And so essentially, I would just plug in here, you know, keep the keys in mind. And I'm going to go ahead. And you notice the analysis here is red. This is the pass-fail indication from the previous test. You notice down there, connector max, it says live view. So right now, if I want to execute the live view, I'll just go ahead and hit this button here. It'll start the live view. I'm going to put this all the way back up to where it was at number one. And this is going to be a little tricky here because I'm trying to hold this at the same time. So this is what it looks like on the bulkhead side, and we're doing the exact same thing here, right? We're capturing. We're going to stage two, capture, stage three, capture, and then the analysis happens. And I'm doing a lot of moving around here while I'm talking, which I should not be doing. Normally, obviously, this you know the bulkhead's a little bit more stable, uh, but we should be fine here. This kind of shows you just how how steady these things are actually are. And then we'll capture the next one. And then the next one. And so you get the idea. Uh, this is basically how you capture uh, and inspect uh, MPO connectors or multi-fiber connectors using uh, Expo's um, FIP 435B. My name is Kevin Pires. Thank you very much.